What's up guys? We are headed out to go check some lines that I had set yesterday. Um, checked them all night. This is a new video. If you didn't catch the last video of actually last night, we caught two really nice fish. One flathead weighing in about 18, 20 pounds. Didn't get to officially weigh him. Damn it, there goes my coffee. Didn't get to officially weigh him, but it was a really nice fish. You go check that video out. Um, this video will probably run all day today and the night while we check these lines. So, wish us luck. Let's go catch some big ones. It's the spot that always produces. So hopefully we got something on here. I'm not wearing the uh, GoPro. Just brought the big camera. All right, let's check this out. Nothing on that one. Well, nothing on that one. Let's move on to the next one. I feel like they kind of, like bigger cats and flathead kind of stop biting. We are back in action. We got the girls with us. You say hi. Hi. Where's Sis? Come on, Sis. Let's go check these fish. You got your boots on? Mm -hmm. Well, come on. Let's go. Oh, Tootie, are you ready? <laughs> Nothing on this old girl. No fishies on this one, sis. Can you grab one, sissy? All right, let's go over here. Can you get one? Yeah. Yeah? Reach in there. Look how many there are in there. Can you grab one? You gonna, <laughs> you gonna catch one? Oh. Whoa. It's okay. <laughs> They're fast. They won't hurt you. Get another one. They almost fall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job. What happened? What happened? One, <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Now we got some big baits. Had to drive about 45 minutes to go get big bait. But uh, we should be in business now. Tonight should be good. No bait. Nothing, Daddy. Nothing. Nothing, Daddy. Nothing. I know uh, the flathead bite really comes on in the evening and at night, so right now it looks like we don't have much. Bait's still there, that ain't good. Here, hurry! Look at it! You gonna touch it? You're not gonna touch it? Why not? Got him. I own a big old spinner. That spinner bait's a little big for him, but. Want to hold him? <laughs> Doing a little bass fishing while bank lining. Here we are, finally. We went all day checking these damn lines. Didn't have nothing. Now, finally, first line, I can tell that something's on this son of a gun. And if it isn't, I'm an idiot. So, here we go. Yeah, buddy. A little, little guy. Little channel. All right, there we go. Finally, got us a little guy. Next! So Tyler and Chris put out this line earlier. This sucker is straining on these, on this wood here. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. Take it. Good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, I got the fish. Look at that. A little bit of leaf pattern, but uh, don't <laughs> don't mind the the rubbish. Nice fish, man. Second of the night. Good job, Tyler. Tyler, look. Ow. <laughs> Getting chewed on? Dude, that oh, face yeah. reaction is gonna oh, be ridiculous. My, my finger's gone. All right, it ain't gone. Here, <laughs> let me take it or what? Oh, he got him out. You're good. You're good. <clears throat> he has my, you guys can read. I don't want to hurt him. I don't hurt him. <laughs> nice little four pounder. Later, dog. Nice. So within about 20 yards of each other, we're stacking these bank lines, and it seems like from where the mouth of the river is, these fish are moving up, up, up current in this, uh, in this creek. So up current means they're going to hit that first line with the first perch or goldfish on it. So these second lines that we're coming across are usually going to be dead. Dead ski. Something got him. Yep. So Chris has done a lot of bank line, and I've done a lot of bank line. Chris uses this line, it kind of floats. It's really light, there's no weight. So on mine, I have a lot heavier line and I put like a one ounce, two ounce weight because of the current. He's free lining these fish and letting the fish just, just swim. So uh, we've caught them on both tonight. I caught the big one yesterday. So we're gonna keep comparing and, and kind of go from there and see what the best choice is. All right, here we are. This is a new spot that we just set. She's tight, but I don't see it moving. No. Nope. We never mind. Never mind. Camera back on. Camera back on. We got something on this. It was hooked around something. Oh yeah. Yeah, another little channel. No, that's a small one. That's the smallest yet. Yeah. Hey, a fish is a fish. It's about the same. All right, there she is. Third fish of the night. Look at the belly on that guy. Later, guy. Here we go. So, earlier I was talking about the difference between me and Chris's line. On this one, there's no current. And on this line, I have a tall uh, conduit pipe. This is a five foot long pre-cut pipe that you buy from Home Depot for a dollar thirty, with about 12 foot of line on it. The last three foot, I got two little clamp on I think they're quarter ounce clamp on weights and about a two foot leader with a normal just big hook big worm hook ain't hard this feels weird it's either a limb or a big fish and it's moving it's a big fish it's not a big fish it's a small fish never mind it's a big fish it's a big fish. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. Oh my God. Here's a, here's a big flathead. Here's a big flathead right here, baby. Ready? Oh yeah, baby. Woo, baby! Good God! Oh my God! Look at this monster! Woo! Head on him! Oh my God! I just yanked this thing out of this is whole. Holy! Barely hooked. Barely. I'm drinking your beer. Old he is. Oh my God! Freezing cold. That is a big. Had a boy. Ah. Had a boy. You gotta look at that spider dog. I just caught this monster, me, Chris, Tyler. Holy Daniel, right? Yep. Daniel, all four of us here. We're gonna let this baby go. This is a beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful fish. We'll revive him here for a minute. And uh I'll tell you what. Where I caught this fish, I did not expect to catch this big of a flathead on that line. The reason why is uh, the last two days I've been bank line in that same area. I've had a lot of good luck in that area before, but these last two days, here he goes. These last two days on that rock area, 
I've just been getting hung up in the rocks. There he goes. So I've been getting hung up on these rocks and uh, I did not even expect to catch that nice of a fish on them rocks. Dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Woo. Got him. Woo. What's your... Uh... We got so I just bought a brand new digital scale. Luck has it that I did not buy a nine volt battery to go with that brand new scale. So there's four of us here. We've all been fishing a cumulative of an old man's age. Uh, we're gonna say that easily, easily that fish was 30 pounds. I mean, no if, ands, or buts about it. Yep. Woo! I just missed the whole pulling it in. That That's great. I was on camera mode instead of video mode. Here we are. We just pulled this guy in. He's about an eight pounder, eight pound flathead. Chris here decided to put the pole here. This is a nice calm area. Look at him. This is just an epic night. I think it's literally three o'clock in the morning. And we're catching these fish. Beautiful canvas flathead. Yeah, baby. Oh, buddy. He's a feisty son of a gun. Woo. We're out here doing big things. So here we are, it's the next day. We're back out here at the campground. Uh, they, Chris and uh, Tyler checked the lines today. There wasn't nothing on them. So it looks like we shut it down just in time last night before the fish stopped biting. So last night that 30 pounder, that was, that was a true monster off a, off a bank line. Coming up, I'm gonna do a how to build the PVC conduit bank line poles for literally two bucks a piece. So be watching out for that video it should be up at the end of the week thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button and if you like this video you know what to do we'll see you guys Peace.